In a few moments, the Falcon 9 set to take off from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Elon Musk's aerospace company will send that rocket into orbit and launch an Earth observation satellite for Spain. They'll launch two of their own satellites for the first time. Uh, the course of launch was supposed to happen yesterday, got scrubbed for high winds. Morgan Brennan's here at Post 9 helping us uh, look at this, understand it, and talk about what's significant about it for Musk, uh, for the company, and more broadly for broadband access all around the world. Exactly. So this is the PAUSE mission. This is a Spanish spat satellite that is being launched into low Earth orbit. But it's those two additional smaller satellites that are hitching a ride on this Falcon 9 rocket uh, out of California in just the next couple of minutes that everybody's watching so closely. These are satellites that were made in-house by SpaceX. They are the first two test satellites for what Elon Musk hopes will be the Starlink constellation. Uh, he's hoping over the next couple of years to build a constellation of what will ultimately be tens of thousands of these satellites to beam high-speed internet back to Earth. This would represent a new revenue stream for SpaceX, and a new profit uh, to basically fund all of these ventures to ultimately get SpaceX and humans to Mars. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Wow. That's yeah. a lot of traffic up there. Yeah, so a lot hinges on these two satellites. They're the test satellites. They're going to start beaming the data back and showing whether this can work and how soon. And this, of course, on the day when Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross was on Squawk Box this morning saying that he wants to turn the moon into a sort of gas station for outer space and that the administration is now committed to sending Americans back into space and back to the moon here. Exactly. So let's listen to this count. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So guys, this is a Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, it has launched off of the launch pad at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. This is the PAUSE mission, that Spanish satellite, but also those two additional SpaceX-made satellites. It's heading to low Earth orbit. Uh, that payload will be deployed in the next couple of minutes. Uh, unlike previous missions we've seen, the booster on this Falcon 9 will not be recovered. The company is not planning to recover it. Uh, this represents the fourth launch this year. Although, uh, did you see what Musk Instagrammed? Uh, a ship where he says we're going to try to catch the giant fairing nose cone. Yes. Uh, as it falls back from space at about eight times the speed of sound. <laughs> um, uh, it has onboard thrusters and a guidance system to bring it through the atmosphere intact. Basically, he called it a giant catcher's mitt that's been welded onto a boat that will try to catch this in the ocean. <laughs> Yeah, and I think this speaks to this sort of reusability concept uh, with Musk. They've been recapturing boosters in recent launches, but also other key hardware on these rockets. What do they get paid for something like this? Do you know, Morgan? In other words, what is the Spanish company or what is, you know, typical? Is there a, is there a typical fee at this the point? The listed launch price, which, by the way, listing launch prices publicly was something that didn't exist before SpaceX, uh, is about $60 million. All right. We don't know if they're getting discounts off of that, but that's the list price. That's the list price. <laughs> Got it. Um, they have a coupon. So if I want to launch is us a big into part space, of the cost of launch, Got I will it. note as well. Right. Especially given the high risk of something like an explosion, which we've seen. Speaking of which, past. how significant is this launch compared to the heavy that we saw a few weeks ago, where, where Musk did talk about millions of pounds of TNT equivalent? Oh, the, so the heavy is basically three of these rockets that we just saw launched put together. Uh, it's thrust of five million pounds. That's basically the equivalent of, I believe, 18 uh, Boeing, I want to say 767s uh, taking off at the same time. I might have those numbers wrong, but it's extremely powerful. Um, and that the launch price on that is only about $90 million all in, maybe $150 million. Got it. That's cheap for good, space. That's good to know. Let Just me make in that case clear. There's something cheap. I want to send up to space. Now I've got my prices set. But this looks <laughs> clean, as far as you can tell. Yes, yeah, as far as we can tell. All right. We'll be looking to see if Musk uh, 
says anything else on yeah. Twitter. Yep. Morgan, thanks. Morgan Brennan. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.